In this tutorial, we will take a deeper look at custom floating UIs, specifically focusing on how this 3D presentation was created. It includes a floating logo, a camera switcher, and the ability to download images. The entire scene can be shared as a link or embedded on a website or productivity tools. First, we'll add a logo watermark with a transparent background to the center top of the screen. To achieve this, add a floating UI to the scene and give it a new name. Go to the property menu and add an image element. Upload your desired image, then open the floating UI properties menu and disable the fill color and shadow effect. From the position drop-down menu, select top center for the floating UI placement. Enter preview mode to see how it looks when rotating the camera. Moving on, we'll incorporate additional cameras from different angles into the scene. Exit the current camera view and choose the angle you want for the second camera. Upon adding the new camera, it will automatically adopt the current view. Lock the camera to avoid any unintentional changes in position. In the Camera Properties menu, enable Depth of Field and pick the Focus Offset target. Now, increase its intensity to create a stronger background blur. Next, let's add another camera from a new angle. Exit the camera view and find the desired angle for the third view. Then, add a third camera to the scene, enter its view, and lock it. Enable depth of field and adjust the focus offset and intensity. Now, select the last view angle. Add a camera and enter its view. If the camera is unlocked, you can freely change its view. For the fourth camera, we want a lower field of view. Once you're satisfied with the angle, lock the camera. Then, select all the cameras and group them into a variance group. Now, we can easily switch between views by changing the variance. Feel free to rename the variance group as you see fit. In the next step, we'll add an image element and an interaction for switching between different camera views. Start by adding a new floating UI to the scene and giving it a name. Position it to the right and add an image element. Since we'll make this image interactive, it's a good idea to rename it as well. Upload an image. Click on the floating UI name to access its properties and disable the fill color and shadow effect. Now, adjust the image size. To make the image interactive, open the interact mode, create a new interaction, and give it a name. Add an on-click trigger and select the image you uploaded to the floating UI as the target. Next, choose a variance action from the action drop-down menu. 
From the variants, select the group with the cameras. Here, you can set the object to which it will switch when triggered. To cycle through cameras, choose the next object from the drop-down menu. Enter preview mode to test the interaction. We also need an interactive image for the previous camera view. To streamline our workflow, let's begin by duplicating the next camera floating UI and assigning it a new name. Afterward, relocate it to the left side. Now, update the name of the image element and upload a new image. Next, enter the interact mode and duplicate the interaction and rename it. Adjust the trigger target. Additionally, make the necessary modifications to the interaction variants. Finally, test the interaction in preview mode. In the last step, we'll add a button with a download image interaction. This interaction allows us to download an image of the current view. Add a new floating UI to the scene and give it a name. Then, add a button element and customize the button text. Disable the fill and shadow effects of the floating UI. For the button, we want it to be transparent, so disable the fill and add a stroke. You can also change the text color. Now change the position of the floating UI to the bottom center. In the interact mode, create a new interaction and name it. Set the trigger to on click and choose a target. From the actions drop down menu, select download image interaction. You can choose from which camera view it will download an image. Leave it as current view, since we already have an interaction to cycle between different camera views. Optionally, enable and set a custom resolution based on your needs. You can also enable a transparent background or set a delay if desired. Test all the interactions in preview mode. And there you have it. You're done. Now you can share your presentation with colleagues with one link or embed it to any web browser or presentation tools such as Miro and Notion. Thanks for watching.